beautiful bitches out there. How are you doing? Let's talk. So this virus thing that's going around, it's, it's tough, right? Everybody is suffering in their own way and it's all hard on us for different reasons. I don't wanna talk about it too much because I feel like everybody's focused on it. Everybody knows what's going on. There's a certain point where you don't wanna hear somebody say, stay home, stay safe, wash your hands. There's a certain point where it just becomes a bit of a blur. You don't pay attention to it anymore. So I know everybody knows that. Um, we all are suffering in our own different ways. We all are affected in a different way. I was affected in a different way than most people. Yes, I was laid off from my job, um, which has given me the ability to, to do this and, and other things. Um, the downside is I'm not working. Um, but the biggest impact um, that this has had is I had to postpone my wedding. I was supposed to be getting married in four days. And it's, it's come to a point where it took a very long time to accept this information. I, me and my fiance were planning on doing a small ceremony, just the two of us and our immediate families, obviously staying safe and apart. Um, and a couple of days ago, we had to make the tough decision that that was no longer viable. And it was no longer possible for us to do that. So we did have to unfortunately cancel, uh, well postpone. Uh, we have made the starting arrangements to have it for next year um, on the, around the same day. Uh, because it is important for us to do it in April because um, it is our anniversary month. Uh, we have been together Oh gosh, this would be seven years. So by the time we finally get married, we would have been, we'll be together for eight years. So it's a long time. <laughs> and we have been engaged for a year and a half, probably a bit more. And we were looking forward to uh, our wedding, obviously. Me, obviously a little bit more than him. But I always dreamed of the big wedding. I mean, which girl hasn't? You know, there was some rough couple of days and all of April, I have been just trying to take care of us. <laughs> um, there were some big events that were supposed to happen and obviously they can't happen, um, such as like the bachelorette, the bridal shower, you know, the big events that everybody looks forward to. And I continuously still get updates saying, hey, your wedding's coming up, don't forget to do this, don't forget to do that. And some days are better than others. Um, some days it feels like I'm never going to get better. <laughs> and then some days, especially after a call, my besties, um, it, it, it eases a little bit. And I just have to remember that it doesn't mean I'm not having a wedding, it just means um, things just have to be postponed. and. I love my fiance and he is amazing and he's super supportive and he's always making sure that I'm okay um, and I think that's the important thing is that um, your relationship itself doesn't suffer because of a setback. Um, but I'm telling you all of this because uh, today in the mail I received a package. Um, it is a subscription box that I am subscribed to. Uh, it is the Miss to Mrs. Um, subscription box. And so this was supposed to be the last package um, 
that I received uh, before my wedding day. This is not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I got it on my own. I thought it was a nice little treat for me leading up to my wedding, which as you guys know, not happening. I had talked to them and things were kind of mixed up and this wasn't actually the last box I was supposed to receive. Um, the order got mixed up, but, so I have no idea what's in this one, but they said this was not the last box I was supposed to get. But, needless to say, I am uh, a little torn. Uh, time has changed certain excitements and whatnot, but, I've received this box nonetheless, and I'm gonna subscribe to different boxes. Originally, I was only supposed to get three uh, for leading up to, once a month leading up to my wedding. Um, but as my wedding is now <laughs> a year away, um, <laughs> I've subscribed to more boxes um, that will come at a later date. But I thought, hey, why don't one of the first ones be an unboxing? I know, uh, very like stereotypical, very bleh. But let's open this up. We'll see what's in it. And hopefully we get some good stuff. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so here is the Miss to Miss box. Mrs. to Ms. box. And I haven't opened it, so I don't know what's in here, but I'm excited. So, we're just going to cut it open here. We've got some beautiful pink coming through there. We've got our Miss to Mrs. Bridal Box. Ooh. Okay. So. We are going to open this up. Ooh, okay. So we've got this little page here. This kind of explains what's really in the box and, um, you know, what's there. I particularly like just going through it and then if I need explanation, I'll go through it, but I kind of like the surprise. So we're just gonna put this aside for now and we are going to open this. Such lovely wrapping. Okay, so first thing we have is a protein smoothie um, recipes. So, so I feel like everything is upside down for you guys. So I think I'm just gonna turn this around. So the first thing we have is different kind of recipes on there, which will be great. Um, what else? Looks like we've got some, a wedding workout to kind of, I guess, help us get in shape for the big day. Um, if I look here, it looks like it's sweating for the wedding is the theme of this of this book, I mean box. So, let's see. Work harder, eat better, run faster, feel stronger. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. Let's open this up and see what this is. It's like a weird like material, but, oh, it looks like it's a cooling tower. Um, guess to help cool you down as you're sweating it's just like a big it's a big long cloth with the saying on it okay it's pretty cool um, and then we've got a get fit stay fit planner um, oh, okay so it's just like something you can make your own notes with um, yeah, to track your progress, we've got a shopping list to help you with some phrases in there. Looks like there's some more, um, like a cal calorie food chart, um, just to help you stay focused. Um, so that's cool. Um, what else we got in here? 
So we've got a stronger than yesterday. It seems like it's a, a belt. Okay. Doesn't come on done, so. Oh yeah, it's a resistance band. Um, and in fact, if you go on YouTube and you do uh, resistance band workout, it'll give you some workout ideas with this. So it's pretty tough. So yeah, that's cool. I like the color. Um, let's see. We've got a water bottle, always good. Nice to have more around. Forget to drink, don't forget to drink your water. I <laughs> get it because it's a donut. It's got, um, seems to be like a tracker so you can kind of keep track of the days so you can make sure you get at least two of these a day. That's good, I never drink enough water so I feel like hopefully this might help a little bit. And it's super cute, you know, super cute. Um, ooh, we've got a sports headband. It's pretty good, I like the color. Um, I feel like with these kind of headbands, they never stay on my head very well. Um, I feel like it's because I've got like such light, like very thin hair, it just never, I don't know, it never stays properly. But um, maybe this one will be different. So we'll try this one out and I'll let you know if it works. Um, we're getting to the nitty gritty now. So we've got this, a sports wrist wallet for workouts and other activities. Okay, so it's like a band or something that you can put on your wrist, I guess, um, to keep all your stuff in. Yeah, keep all your valuables safe. Um, well, that's cool. Let me see. Put it on my wrist here and then I can show you guys how cool I look. Are you ready? I don't know if you can handle it. Ready? Bam! Very cool. Okay. Yeah. We will test that out and see how well that works. But it could be nice if you don't want to like carry all your stuff everywhere, you know? Just make sure there's nothing under this stuff here as we get to the last. Ooh! Sorry. Did you feel that? You're right? Alright. Maybe cut down on the drinks a little bit. It's still early. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so the last thing, we've got a workout tank top. Uh, sweating for your wedding. Um, doesn't say what size it is, which makes me nervous because I'm a thick girl. Um, and I'm okay with being a thick girl. Um, but let's see. Um, what does it say? So we've got, yeah, sweating for the wedding. That's a cute little color though. Um, um, I, yeah, like I said, I don't know if this shirt, uh, t-shirt's gonna fit. It's quite short, actually. It doesn't look like that on camera, but it's, it's pretty short, so. Um, but it's, it's super cute. I hope it does fit. Actually, maybe, maybe I'll go see. Hold, just a moment. Okay, it's on, but not well. <laughs> so, um, it's it's a great shirt, you know. I'm gonna try stand up so you can see it. So, it's a nice lettering. Um, it's it's snug. Let's <laughs> let's just say that. Um, it's definitely gonna take some work um, to get uh, to get into it. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have a size on it, so I don't exactly know what size it is. I lied! I found it! <laughs> so, the tag is super small on this shirt. So, it actually says, uh, it's like super, super tiny. Um, it says a, a 2XL to a 3XL. So, <laughs> I don't know if it's a 2 or if it's a 3. Normally in clothes, depending on the place, because we all know, we all know places are different. One place will be like, oh, it's a 2XL, but really it's, it's, it's like a medium. <laughs> but <laughs> normally I fit into like a one or two XL, depending on the store. 
Um, it depends where where it is. Anyway, so this one is a bit too too snug. If you're looking into subscription boxes, this. Yeah, it's hard to show on camera, but this is what a two to a three XL looks like. It's very snug. I'm a big girl. I got I got a lot of assets. So if you want to know more about that, let me know. <laughs> Continue. I'm pretty happy with me, so it's definitely not like absolutely necessary, but it'd be nice. I mean, I've got the time to, uh, you know, like I said, take care of me. So maybe that's uh, this year's goal is to see what I can do with the time I have. So uh, thanks for for uh, for hanging out with me and uh, opening this box. I think we got some cool goodies. We got the shirt. We've got this cute little water bottle. Um, you know, we've got like the wristband and the wallet. Is this how it goes? No? Ooh. So stylish. See, look. Slips right off. I literally felt it. It was just like the slow move back. It's very nice. Okay. Maybe try uh, one of the smoothie recipes that they offered today and got my little cooling tower or towel there. Oh, it's just so hot. I know. Let me get my cooling towel. So many shenanigans. Ooh, I'm so stylish. Okay, well that's it for this video guys. Um, stay tuned if you want to see some more videos from me. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm around. Alright, until the next video, see you later bitches. I mean, I shouldn't call them bitches. I mean, I say bitches all the time. I say bitches to all of my friends. It has become a running joke that it doesn't matter what we're saying, we finish it with bitches. But you know I mean that endearingly. I love you guys. You guys are my favorites. Please stick around and watch some more of my videos. No, that's not correct. <laughs> I am terrible at this. Bye.